Hi guys, Mrs. J here. So you guys are gonna make some walking sticks. And you're gonna do it on this brown or blue paper. And I'm gonna show you how to make their habitat first. So what you're going to do is I am going to draw my branches with a marker. Like the branches of a tree. Now you are probably going to draw this with a pencil, but I'm drawing it with a marker so that you'll be able to see it really well. See there? Okay, so now you're going to take your scissors, okay, and cut this out. Your brown branches. You're going to take a glue stick and glue it all down on your blue paper, like so, so it looks like tree branches. And then you're going to take little pieces of tissue paper, and likely they'll be green because we are in the springtime. You're going to dip them into just a little, see, see, just a little, and you're going to put them on your branches like you have leaves coming off of your branches. And you're going to make this pretty full because this is where your walking stick hides. And you can make your branches or your leaves, they could be a light green or a dark green, whatever colors you have. They could even be a brown because sometimes you have some brown um, dead leaves on your tree. Even though it's springtime, they get frosted. So you're going to fill in your branches so it's fairly full of your leaves. Okay, so I continue to add my little leaves to my tree and see how I've got it pretty full. You could even make it a whole lot fuller. You could put leaves up here and you could make them come into branches here, but that's pretty full. You want to have it enough leaves, but not, not, um, enough leaves, but not so few that it doesn't have any leaves. So you make sure you add quite a few leaves. Now we're going to start our walking stick. We have this piece of paper and we are going to make our walking stick body out of it. What we'll do is we have it here and you may want to use a pencil to get it started and you're just going to start rolling it. So you're going to get that first, see here's the edge, you're going to get that first bit there and you're going to stop. Okay, and you see that's where that spot is, so you're going to take your glue stick, and you may need a friend to help you, you're going to hold this tight and run a bit of glue just along your pencil and where that little brown paper is. And that will help stick your glue or your, your paper so that your, you can get your body going. Then when you get to the point where you have just a little bit left, you're going to do the same thing. Run a little glue along there and finish rolling. And then you're going to Press it down and make sure you get it nice and tight. And slide your pencil out. And here is your walking stick body. Okay? Now, for the head, you're going to just pinch it. This will be the head part. And the head part is going to go up and down, vertical. Okay? And you could even use a pencil or a marker to draw maybe an eye on it, one side and then the other side. So you have an eye on your walking stick. And then you're going to you to do the back end, you're going to pinch it the opposite way. See how this went up and down? This side goes 
horizontal. It doesn't matter that it doesn't stay together. And if you wanted, you could add a little um, cut in here because walking sticks a lot of times at the back of them, they have these little pinchers. And if you pick a walking stick up, sometimes they'll pinch you. So you can just take this out like that and you have this little pincher like bottom. Okay. So there is our walking stick body. For the legs, we're going to use this piece of paper. Could just be a piece of scrap brown paper. And we're going to cut six legs out of it. We want them, no, we're going to count, cut three legs, I'm sorry, three legs out of it. And I know that the insect has six legs. You're probably questioning why I said that. Because we are going to take our six legs, three legs, and make them six. How are we going to do that? We're going to fold them in half. So we have two legs with each piece of paper. Okay? Now this may be the tricky part when you go to glue it. Make sure you got your bug the right way. And you're going to oops, you fold your legs in half so they're folded. And then you're going to use your glue stick and add a little glue so you know on that fold because that's the middle of the legs. And then you're going to place them so they're about an equal distance apart. And you might want to do this one at a time. And you're going to put some glue on there and then you're going to hold it till it sticks. Okay, see how that is? They are glued to the bottom. And what we're going to do is let this sit and dry. Let's set that aside. The next thing we need to do is give our walking stick two antennas. So for my antennas, I have this piece of paper. I think what I'm going to do is give him some fairly long antennas. So I'm going to cut like the shape of a rainbow out. You can do however you want. You could do two straight lines. You could give them some curly antennas by rolling some paper around a pencil. I'm just going to give my bug some simple long antennas. And I think I'm going to put these on after I show you how to do the feet. Now that this is dried, hoping that they won't fall off, we're going to fold up the bottoms of the legs. This gives us our feet on our um, walking stick. So we're going to give them six little feet. Okay? So now he is like this. Whoops. Maybe it's not quite dry. So he's like this. So when you put him on the paper, you're going to glue these down. I'm going to glue on my antenna. You may need a little longer drying time for this part. And you know what you could do is you could always add your antennas and do your legs. And then maybe, oops, put the glue on the wrong side then maybe you could go back to your tree that you're working on and maybe add some more um, leaves to it. So there is my antennas. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry. Okay, so we've made our background and we've made our walking stick. Now it's time to put them together. So here we are with our background. 
and we have our walking stick here. And how you're going to do this is add a little glue. And you can make your walking stick face either way, up, down, left, or right, however you want them to do. And add a little glue to the bottom of three feet. So I'm going to put my walking stick right here. So I'm going to put these three feet, glue these three feet down. See how I did that? And then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottoms of these three feet. And then remember, we glued on the fold of those legs. So we're just going to fold our legs down. And then we have our walking stick glued on to its habitat, onto the branches. I hope you guys enjoyed making a walking stick with me. See you next time.